Hello and welcome, my name is Simon Egel and today I would like to talk about VRIT and XR and the usage of um, 360 degree HDR panoramas. So the question is why is this important right now? And I think you might have seen lately this great video that was created by Vario in collaboration with Kia using Autodesk VRIT where they are using the Vario XR1 and showcasing the usage, um, how it can be used with, with, with all the spirit. And um, yeah, I think it's, it's a perfect showcase because we are perfectly able to see on how to combine the real and the virtual world. At the same time, you also might have seen um, a technology called CloudXR, which was um, developed by NVIDIA. And CloudXR can be used to stream data using NVIDIA technology from one device to another. So usually you would go from a high performance computing um, machine to a mobile device, um, but you still can see the great quality of the highly calculated image directly and instantly without any latency on a mobile device. So the question is how to improve the quality of this XR using Autodesk VRED. And the answer is quite easy. You need to capture reality in advance. And you can do this by using cameras. So I think there are a couple cameras right now on the market. I just get hands on this little device over here, which is able to create 360 degree images. And if you create more than one of these images, in this case, I created um, 10 of those with different exposure, exposure levels. So one which is quite dark and one which is quite bright, overexposed and many images in between. Um, there are functionalities and programs to calculate an HDR high dynamic range image out of that. I use Photoshop for that. So in this case, we can go with um, please um, automate and merge multiple images to an HDR Pro. Imagine you have to press this button, then you can choose a certain you can choose a certain folder. Afterwards, you drag and drop your files, and you press OK, and you're pretty much done. Afterwards you can save your image as an HDR or XR and go to your VRED scene. And in your VRED scene, you have the chance to go to your material, your environment material, by default it's a studio material, and just change the file name here. So in that case, I can just go to my Explorer, take the HDR image that I just created and drag and drop it to that folder over here. And now the HDR image will be loaded directly into my VRED scene. And you can see that in my VRED scene, I now can see the 360 degree picture that I was taking earlier directly on my desk. And you might notice, well, the background over here in VRED is exactly the same background that we can see over me at the very moment. So I do have my HDR in my scene already which is great. So now I can catch reflections of my objects. In this case, I'm just adding a geometry. In this case, so it's the default yeah, VRED data set, the, the automotive genesis. And you can see I can navigate around the car and I can see even the reflections of my light on top, so this one, directly in the car. Of course, as it is VRED, it is possible for me to change uh, car paints, for example, I can change it to white, I can change it to black, I can change it to whatever. I can open the doors, I can close the doors, and so far and so on. Good thing is, as we are in VRED right now, I can just easily switch from OpenGL um, to ray tracing quality. So by just clicking on that button over here, I'm switching from my OpenGL um, quality to my ray tracing quality, which means that my image right now is fully ray traced. And it's not an approximation ray tracing, it's real ray tracing. So it means I really render full global illumination in real time on a single computer at the very moment. And I can just jump from one viewpoint, have a nice camera smooth um, animation from one viewpoint to the other. And while I'm doing this, I'm sure you're noticing all these reflections. So right now the ski box actually um, reflected in my windshield. <coughs> you can see it over here. The reflection right now is uh, from this light over here has actually calculated precisely from where this light would be. So um, if I define also the position of the HDR image, right, the 
position of the HDR image directly on the position where it's supposed to be, I can be sure that the um, reflection that I can see right now in my object is accurate. And the great thing is, of course, I can also enhance this with more effects. I can just go ahead and say, okay, I would like to work with some depth of field maybe, maybe make it not too strong, something like that. And then you can see that I have an actually uh, a depth of field effect that I can see in real time. So I can make my background unsharp, I can make my foreground unsharp, depending on where I click in, in my scene. And at the same time, I can also work with other effects. So, long story short, to increase the realism of your augmented reality, you need to capture a reality in advance to improve the quality and afterwards put the capturing of your reality into your V-Red scene. So, uh, the next step, I'm quite excited on how to use the x one and how to combine it with what I just did and also on how to work with the Cloud XR technology and how to also combine it with this workflow in V-Red. Stay tuned. Talk to you soon. Bye.